My motor vehicle attempted to strike one of my officers. Uh, officers followed that vehicle to the scene across the street here, at which point the vehicle crashed into the house. Uh, officers pursued the suspect into the house, at which point the suspect took a knife and stabbed one of my officers multiple times. Uh, that officer has been transported to an out-of-town hospital by a med flight. Uh, suspect was taken into custody a slight time later. Any questions? Does the, does the suspect live in this house? We are led to believe he lives there. And so he was trying to get home? Yes. Why didn't he pull over? We do not know. What's the extent of the injuries to the officer that was shot? Uh, serious stab wounds, uh, non-life-threatening at this point. Chief, what was the initial sort of interaction? Why was he pulled over? Uh, I guess he initially showed up at a car stop that was unrelated to him. Uh, at that point, he started getting out, yelling at the officers, got back in the car after the officers asked him to leave. Uh, a short time later, uh, an officer pulled him over for operating erratically on the roadway. Uh, he pulled over initially. Uh, as the officers approached, he fled in the vehicle, almost striking one of the officers. Well, what's the victim's condition? Excuse me? What's the victim's condition? The uh, police officers are suffering serious stab wounds. We had several officers injured tonight in this, but the most serious one has been taken to an out-of-town hospital. How many officers total injured? I believe right now the count's four or five. What kind of injuries? Uh, st lacerations, stab wounds. No, no, the other officers. Uh, lacerations, too, from various things, from trying to get the knife away from the suspect. Did he have the knife on his body or did he just grab one? We do not office? know. We don't know that, whether he had it on How his person or not. How many officers were injured? Uh, we believe at this point four to five. Were yes. all taken to the hospital? Uh, yes, uh, all officers went to the hospital. Is the suspect also in the hospital? Uh, I don't believe, I don't know if he's still at the hospital. He's been brought back to the police station for booking. What were his injuries? Uh, it's just minor. He got tased several times. Uh, obviously, he fought with the officers, so he has minor injuries there. I heard he was hiding under a bed. Did you have to drag him out? No, that is not the case. There was another person in the house that was hiding that we uh, went in and took out. Oh, okay. Chief, did four to five officers stab besides the first one you mentioned? No, that includes the total of. Uh, not familiar with us, but he's familiar with neighboring departments. I would make the assumption based upon the actions tonight there must be. Was he the only officer Can you tell us again what led up to the traffic stop? There was a car bringing suspects. Uh, I'll wait. Uh, earlier, the, the officers, uh, different officers had a car stop. He stopped and started interaction with the officers there, uh, making statements, just being somewhat aggressive. The officers told him to leave. He left. A short period of time later, another officer came across him, performed a car stop because he was offering erratically on the road. And during that car stop, he took off, almost hitting an officer at the car stop. So the officers at that point commenced the pursuit. Do you have an age of the suspect? I do not off the top of my head. Was he the only officer in the car? Yes, he was. How long was the pursuit? I would say probably approximately 10 minutes. We, as I said, this is still an ongoing investigation. Things are a little chaotic, so all the timeline's not there yet. Do you have that in miles, I think? Uh, I can tell you it started on County Street and ended up here. I don't know what the miles are. Did the incident happen here outside? Did anything happen inside the house? Everything happened inside, basically. The officer was stabbed inside the house. The officer was stabbed in the house? The officer was stabbed in the house. Hi, Mayor. A couple more questions, then we're going to hear from uh, Mayor O'Connell. Are you identifying the suspect? Not at this point. The suspect hasn't formally been charged yet. We have not booked him. Uh, that will be coming tomorrow. We'll have more details. Uh, we'll do a preliminary report tonight. The, there's a press release coming out, I believe, but it hasn't. It will have some more details. As was I said, one, Chief, more was than one two? suspect? No, there wasn't. Chief, when you have four or five officers who are injured in an incident like this, you know, how do you process that? What kind of goes through your mind? Well, we, we have different processes available. So in a situation like this, we'll have all the officers attend to defusing, it's called. Uh, we have a system program in this area for critical incident stress management. So all the officers will be brought into that, uh, have an opportunity. Some, a lot of the officers were shaken up by this, especially the injuries, based on the injuries they saw of their co-workers. So uh, we're dealing with it right now. So we're trying to deal with that right now with their mental health as well. That seems quick. It does. And there you have something that you want to say? When our, when our men and women in uniform at the Taunton PD walk out their door every day for their shift, they never know what they're going to face. And today we had uh, some of our um, police officers injured. When our police officers are injured and hurt, that affects the whole entire department. It affects this whole entire community. And we stand by our law enforcement officers. They did an excellent job tonight. We are grateful for their service. 
to this community for their sacrifice to this community and our thoughts and prayers are with them and their families at this time. Thank you.